Hey everybody, Coach RJ from www.fitclub.fit. I'm here with Laura Benesaki. This is gonna be our last video on the 12 step series. Mm -hmm. So in the last video, we asked you to put a comment and if you haven't watched that video, go back and watch it. And we asked of how do you create your mold? Is it a motivational saying? Is it a motivational video? Is it a book that you read? Or is it maybe something that you do, like working out that sets the intentions for you to having a great day? Mm -hmm. Now in today's video, we're gonna go over steps 11 and 12. So let's start with step 11, which is sort through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God as we understand Him. Praying only for knowledge of His will for us and the power to carry that out. So what does that mean right. to you? Right, so that, what that means to me is um, uh, through prayer, like I said in the morning and setting my intentions, or through meditation when I have something that I'm trying to deal with um, where I need to meditate to maybe find the answer or, or find the right direction to go in, um, finding God's will for me, not my will, because I, I need to give up my will so that I'm not trying to... Um, I'm not trying to orchestrate the show all the time. There's some times where I need to just let go, uh, let go and let God, okay. you know, mm -hmm. um, to find the direction that I need to go in. And it can't always be me trying to suit it to best suit what I think I need. It's maybe what, you know, the universe or God thinks that I, I may need to, to move forward. So, you know, um, I may think that um, doing something that maybe not the best in somebody else's interest, but it's best in mine, um, is not going to serve the, the greater purpose. You know, I'm going to have to do an amends later on by trying to control that situation to best suit my wants as opposed to what I need. So what you're saying is look to a higher power to help you develop this, this path. It can't be just like, okay, right. today this is what I should do, but you never referenced it to, in this case, God. And you know, you didn't come into agreement that yes, that is the first step that you need to take. Mm -hmm. And I think you're right. Like even when it comes to fitness, a lot of people are like, you know, I don't want to pay anybody to help me with whatever journey that I'm going through, whether mm -hmm. it comes to, to losing weight. Okay. So ours is the simplest, right? So mm -hmm. people want to lose weight. That's our bare basic. That's what people come in. Like everybody yeah. says they want to lose weight. And so if they want to lose weight, you know, there, there's conflicts. I don't have the time, you know, it's too expensive, right? Uh, that workout is going to be too hard for me. And then it's like, but if you look to the people that this is what they do, this is what God does. He helps people develop their plans with them. Mm -hmm. And so when it comes to fitness and losing weight, this is what we do, you know, mm -hmm. like indirectly we, make different connections with people. We help reshape lives. I've seen people get into relationships from the gym. I've seen people start new careers with people from the gym. Like there's mm -hmm. so much more to it, but at the bare basics, just come and give us a try at Fit Club. And I'm not promoting us in any way, but this is literally what we do. Yeah. And so like in the case of the step 11, it's like work through prayer with God to help you formulate this path. Don't mm -hmm. just, you know, think, okay, I've got this on my own and thinking that, okay, mm -hmm. I've struggled with this. And in fact, it's brought me down here. And mm -hmm. so it's like, if I brought me down here, I can easily do this by myself and bring myself back up. And mm -hmm. it's like, and if it's not working, you know, if it ain't working, you need to try something else. Absolutely. <laughs> right. <laughs> and so step 11 is go to a higher power, go to the professionals, work with them, Use what you got between your ears. Like if you've mm -hmm. already got the motivation and mindset and you're like, I can do this on my own, mm -hmm. but why not bring the pros in to help really guide me? Whenever it comes to anything important in my life, tennis, okay? I've only been playing for about three years. Mm -hmm. And like, so I joined this, this tennis club, okay? And these tennis club, like these are really good players. They've been playing tennis for decades. Right. And I worked my way into the top 10. Wow. Do you know That's what I mean? Impressive. And like I play with a lot of these top 10 players, but I didn't do that by just going out and like, you know, I'm an athlete, I can do this myself. Like I watch videos every single day, whether right. they're two or three minutes. I've hired multiple coaches throughout the course of these past three years. Mm -hmm. I've joined tournaments. I've played guys that are like amazing. I've played guys that are down. So it's not like I just somehow randomly got good. Like mm -hmm. I've got at least six to eight people that I need to give thanks for my success. So I realize that anything that I need to do, and if I'm already not ultra good at it right now, mm -hmm. I need to find somebody seek the support 
and get the proper guidance. I always say a good coach is going to fast track you from where you are to where you want to be. Right. The line gets a lot straighter when you hire somebody that's been there, done that, and knows what's best for you. Mm -hmm. So step number 12, last step, having a spiritual awakening as a result of these steps. Mm -hmm. We tried to carry this message to alcoholics and to practice these principles in all of our affairs. Right, so basically, um, in all that we've learned through these steps, and you can do these steps multiple times, there's not a, a, a limit on how many times you can do them, because you're always gonna learn something new. Um, but really implementing what we've learned in our daily lives so that we can live a better life. Um, you know, reaching out to others when they're in need, doing things like this where I can, you know, other people can see that the struggles that I've gone through and know that there's hope and speaking out on it and not being afraid to share with people the journey that it took for me to get where I am and to keep going. Because I, I, I will always, always remain teachable so that I can improve my quality of life and, um, and, and to help others really. I mean, it's all about giving back what was so freely given to me when I first walked in the doors of AA. Mm -hmm. And it very much reminds me of walking into Fit Club. You know, there's people in there that have started their fitness journey and they've come such a far away and you walk into Fit Club and you just have such support from everybody there that it's it's truly amazing and it just makes you want to continue on that right path um, and, and learning what I've learned there so far. I know there's lots more for me to learn and lots, you know, different goals for me to achieve, but um, it's really through the members there, I find that it drives you to do want to do more. I love that because one of the motivational, one of the top motivational videos that I always watch is this one by Denzel Washington. Mm -hmm. And one of the things he says is that you should give back, right? Like you need to give back. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter if it's a lot of success or a little bit of success, is that there's always somebody out there mm -hmm. that is where you were even just yesterday. Mm -hmm. So like, if you took the first step, like let's say you sign up for the five days, like right. that is the first step when it comes to Fit Club. Like, okay, I'm gonna take, just take the risk, spend $5, you know, I can either put that towards a latte or I can put that towards starting my fitness goal. Okay, Absolutely. what do I have to lose, right? right? And so then they take that step and they're like, hey Laura, I just joined this gym, like, do you want to come with me? Like, I know you've been talking about this. We, we go to lunch and we're always talking about we need to do something. We need to make change. Mm -hmm. I just signed up. Do you want to sign up? I'll pay for you. Yeah. You know, and like just that you yeah. give back. Like mm -hmm. we have families, like full on families that come and work out. And I see the changes in how they travel and how they communicate and how they relate to one another. And even just bonding time, like just being mm -hmm. in the same room. Like Neri and I are busy all day. Right now she's at the office. We're literally, she's gonna come home. We're gonna get the kids. We got a 1000 workout party tonight. So that's gonna bring us to seven, 7.30. Then I got this guy coming to pick up the dishwasher. Then I gotta be up <laughs> at the gym for eight in the morning. Right? So that means that, and get the kids to bed and this and that. So we don't have a lot of time, mm -hmm. but we're always gonna make time to work out with one another. Right. So even if we're not talking, we're at least, this close to each other, sweating together, doing something that's positive and it's driving us forward. Mm -hmm. And so these are the lessons that I feel you can learn. Now, you know, I'm no specialist in sobriety. I'm no specialist in relationship management, but I just feel like the gym and especially our gym, so I'm not gonna say every gym, I'm just mm -hmm. only speaking for our gym, is such a hub to create the, the literally the life that you're looking for. I mean, mm -hmm. this gym, our gym, has become such an intricate process to like, you got to nine years of being sober, which is already a huge milestone. Mm -hmm. And now you're like, yeah, I've done this nine, this, this nine, nine years. I'm sure you've helped a ton of people along the way. Now you're tacking on fitness. And like mm -hmm. fitness is such a huge battle for so many people. Yes. And they're like, you know, they're like, wow. Like Laura went through all this pain and suffering of just getting sober. Like to me, that's good enough. Like I'm good, it's just like, <laughs> that's it. I'm gonna stop right there. But they're like, now she's like in the in the grind. She's working out every single day. She's making this a part of her life. She's podcasting. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this is like, yeah. this is my idol. And a lot of people don't realize it, but like idols, like not idols in a negative way. Like I worship this person, but mm -hmm. just like inspirational people don't have to come in the form of Brad Pitt, Kevin Hart, The Rock, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Tom Brady, like all these celebrities, like those 
people are inspirational to me, mm -hmm. but I feel that we can learn way more lessons from somebody that I can just go on Facebook and say, hey, Laura, can we do a podcast together and just talk about sobriety and just see where it goes? Yeah. I mean, this video started with like five questions and now it's turned into <laughs> six videos. <laughs> and so like, you know, I've yeah. learned so much from this. I've been wanting to dive so deep into this 12 step program because of the success that it had, mm -hmm. but I never really understood it, right? Mm -hmm. And like, for me to go to an AA meeting wouldn't really make any sense right. because I would need somebody to sit down with me like yourself mm -hmm. and like break it down into how it related into your life. This is how I learned. How did mm -hmm. this relate into your life? How right. did you apply these steps? And then I'm like connecting the dots in my head of how this relates to fitness because I would have never not thought of this. Like literally, I would have never thought of this and just by you saying it to me, able for me to connect the dots. So in a sense, I'm the fitness guru, right? Mm -hmm. You're somebody that went through the 12 step program, but you just now elevated me in this fitness industry. Not so much to, to like, okay, how can I get more clients? How can I get more success and fame? And it's like the knowledge of saying, okay, like, like, yeah, you've, you've, you've gone through this hardship. You've had addictions. You've struggled with this problem for so long, whether it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be alcohol. And it's like, well now, like I have a deep understanding of this 12 step program. And so literally everything that we've already put together, I mm -hmm. indirectly kind of tied it all into this 12 step program. Yeah. And I'm also learning, okay, we're missing step nine. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. how can people give back? Mm -hmm. You know, and that's, I think for me, that's what I learned. Like we, we have the setup, we have the, you know, the first steps of like the 21 day program. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, well, now that people are successful, how can I get them on some, maybe something like this? And maybe this is something that I continuously do is bring somebody that had, you know, a massive amount of success in the fitness industry, like working out with us, mm -hmm. have an open discussion with them and see if there's something that they can teach our audience, they can relate to, Absolutely. I can learn from, and we can all grow together. Absolutely, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing thing. So Laura, I wanna thank you for all the growth and the knowledge and the courage. I mean, you did this, like so easy you're just like <laughs> you can easily talk you, you know i didn't even prep you really and you're i'd rather have that that you just like don't overthink it and just come in mm -hmm. and talk and i think that you did an amazing job with this guys in the comment section first make sure you like this video because it's going to increase the visibility of this video and it can help somebody indirectly just through you liking this video on facebook or youtube but second of all i want you guys to throw some type of emoji a fist pound a flex a blessing <laughs> hands for Laura on coming on to our YouTube channel, our podcast, whatever this is, our information <laughs> session. And so guys, show Laura some love. And if you want to get a hold of us, visit us at www.fitclub.fit.